new Pokemon holiday advent calendar. Let's go. Gotta catch them all Pokemon fans, welcome to another Playscape Games video. It's wonderful for you to be here again, finally got to make some more videos, and what a video we have here. I'm going to be opening the Pokemon Holiday Calendar, releasing this Friday. If you want to get one of these amazing Pokemon Holiday Advent Calendars, um, please click the link below, head to playscapegames.com. we got some for sale, they released this Friday, like... Um, second of i think it's like the second second of september something like that but um fun fact this is the first time we've had an official pokemon tcg um you know holiday advent calendar um since like 2007 they they did one in like canada and i think in in germany in some places like that for the, for the um for like the christmas um for the diamond and pearl and they had those like snowflake stamps and i'll put, I'll put it on the screen just so you can see what it looks like but they did some for influencers and like um, Pokemon celebrities and stuff like, um, you know, more recently they did like they did some like special release like um, for those guys. But unfortunately, we didn't have a Pokemon. But now we've finally got an official Pokemon TCG advent calendar. No chocolates, just Pokemon cards. As you can see, the Pokemon trading card game. I'm so hyped. Let's just get let's just crack into this. And uh, yeah, just, you know, see what you guys think. Let me leave, remember to leave a comment below. You know, let me know what you think of the Pokemon Holiday Advent Calendar. And yes, the vlog from the World Championships will be coming up soon as well. I've been very busy and I, I kind of want to do it justice. So it comes like that and it folds out. Oh my goodness, look at this. Like, just, just look at this, guys. Look, you've got all this beautiful, unique artwork on here. It wouldn't surprise me if this was, like, Saitao who did, like, the artwork on this. Can we see if we can get get it to focus on the box? Like, just look at that. You've got Delibird, you've got Lapras, Beartic, Glaceon. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love absolutely love this and you can see their holiday calendar we'll turn it over and it's kind of like a box so it's also quite gay so you can't really see it here but you can just like fold it out and you can stand it on your table as well which makes you don't have to hang it from the wall if you don't want to that's really neat so let's let's get into this thing let's see what's behind door number one so hopefully i'm not going to be given like bad luck opening stuff like really early so these cards are, look like they're kind of like loosely placed into here so i don't really hopefully we don't damage them trying to take them out so what do we have number one is oh so as you can see here here's bear tick so these are all reprints from existing cards for the most part you can see there this one's from darkness ablaze and it's got the 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 snowflake stamp like on on there and you can tell and it's i think like it's, it's got like a cosmos hollow foil i don't know if bear tick was a hollow in darkness ablaze originally but um yeah, obviously, if you're a master set collector of Darkness of Blaze or any of the sets that these cards come from, then you're going to obviously need the, these ones with the, with the you know the snowflake stamp on them as well. So, um, so we can get to focus there. So number two, where is number two? This is going to take a while. These 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 this gold and this lighting is not absolutely amazing. So this is just going to be like a little review, of my overall thoughts of the product and stuff. Oh. Okay, this is my probably going to be my favourite thing. So you get an awesome little Delhi Bird and Pikachu exclusive keychain. At least I don't know, like, if I've seen this one. It says 2022 on the back, so I presume this is exclusive to the calendar. That's beautiful. I really like that. And there's a pack in there as well. You get a pack as well. And it's Evolving Skies. Let's go. We do love a bit of Evolving Skies. Let's see if we can get a Altar Umbreon or that special Rayquaza VMAX. Um, because, like, fun fact, like, Evolving Skies in the UK now is, like, 140 pounds, like, 160, 180 pounds a booster box. It's absolutely crazy how expensive Evolving Skies is now, so any ch any opportunity we can get to get Evolving Skies booster packs, I am I will happily take. So we got got Fabebe, Slackoff, C-Dot, Love Disc, Bagon, Stoutland, and... <laughs> <laughs> an old art right from the first booster pack we open. This is probably one of my favourite arts in the set. It's not an evolution, but I love the like the little um, you can see their little nick here and the swablus and the gola going about his work. Absolutely beautiful, and it's in great condition as well. Uh, all the old arts are just amazing. That's just a great little pull to start the start the video off or close to the start the video off. Right, number three. Actually, they're all in order here, so I don't need to like look for them. They're all in order, so it saves a bit of time having to like dig around for like trying to find the things. So, in number f Oh, do you know what, guys? I think that booster pack was supposed to be in there, or, or the booster pack was supposed to be there, and the, the dangler was supposed to be there. I don't think there was anything in number three, so maybe we got in it. Right, door number five. What's going on door number five? We've got another booster pack. It looks like a fusion strike pack, guys. 
and it is a fusion strike booster pack. So let's see if we can follow up and get another alt art. Imagine if we the hive where we got like a new alt art, or at least like the Sandaconda or something. That's crazy. Right, and please remember to leave a comment below if you end up redeeming any of these code cards and you use them on the Pokemon trading card game online. And as you can probably also see, I've got my Christmas jumper on, um, just for this, this, the fact that, you know, this is a Christmas um, product, holiday box, you know, in the UK we call them Christmas sort of advent calendars, I think they're called holiday calendars in the United States, I'm not sure, but, um, oh, and a nice Galarian Obstagoon holo, not too bad. And uh, yeah, I'll see if I can give you a like a better view of it. You can you got like Pikachu there, and you got Bulbasaur, and you got Charmander, and I think Squirt, I think Squirtle is somewhere. So really like this um, hot, this Christmas jumper. It's a bit hot though, so I'm going to try and get through these packs as quick as possible. So first sample pack. Um, so for those that don't know, um, the sample packs are normally just given out at stores and leagues. Um, kind of just to promote, well not leagues, but like stores, just to promote like the set. And sometimes you get like a reverse holo, but I don't think you can get any GXs or anything in there. There's like a little advertisement about the set and some of the other stuff in there as well. So nothing too crazy. I think we get six normal booster packs and like three or four of those those, those sample packs. So oh, imagine getting two sample packs back to back. You wouldn't be very happy. You wouldn't you probably wouldn't be very happy on the sixth or the seventh of of um <laughs> the sixth or the seventh of December. So once again, you get oh a nice reverse Eevee there. That's a good one. You can you can get some probably really nice reverse hollows in some of them actually. Um, but yeah, Astral Radiance um, sampling pack there. Number eight. What's behind door number eight? So let's have a look. Uh oh, it's a card that I've damaged. It's oh no, it's a Delhi bird, which is one of the nicest ones. So I don't know whether this was me. Um, you can see here. I don't know whether this is me being a bit overzealous, but I ended up bending. <laughs> Bending the poor Delhi bird when we took it out of the thing, but that's fine. I'll probably just keep this one in my collection. Um, so this again is a reprint of the one from Chilling Rain, except for it's got a cool Cosmos hollow foil background and that snowflake stamp. So beautiful, beautiful, nice little Christmas Delhi bird there. It's got the package delivery attack. So obviously everyone knows that Delhi bird is the Christmas Pokemon. So you wouldn't. I'm so sorry, everyone. I don't know what happened. My recording just stopped, and my computer said, "Oh, let, let's not tell Stephen that the computer's stopping." Um, so we're down. We're now down up to. We're up to just open door 13 before I realised that the recording had actually stopped. So um, in some of the other slots, like um, the seven to, to sort of 12 one, we got um, these two um, fun packs, which have um, like free common cards in it. Sometimes you get a reverse holo. I think we got reverse holo EV out of them, and we got the Ice Rider Calyrax. V from Chilling Rain with the Snowflake stamp, which is really cool. Very strong card for decks. Um, and hopefully show you the V Max later. I can't remember if I showed this already. We got the Deli Bird um, with the Cosmos Hollow Foil. Um, beautiful Christmas Pokemon again with the Snowflake stamp exclusive to this set. You probably, I think you saw, you might have seen these two earlier already. So, and then also we got um, these cool Pokemon stickers. These stickers are beautiful, exclusive um, to the um, to this product as well. And uh, yes, I, I think also you haven't seen this beautiful coin. I think this was behind door number 10. So yes, um, as much as I would have liked this video to be comprehensive, my computer won't allow it. And I'm not going to op start opening another one from scratch. So we'll just have to roll with it. I do apologize. So in um, number 13, we've got an Astral Radiance booster pack, the latest set that's actually currently released. So as of recording, um, Lost Origin is not out yet. And I highly doubt there's going to be Lost Origin packs in here. So this will be like the, the most recent main set. Obviously, Pokemon Go is a main set, but they, I highly doubt there's going to be Pokemon Go booster packs in here. We'll have to, we'll have to see. But um, yes, to, I'm very, you know, we're only halfway through, and I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised with this advent calendar so far. It all depends what you're kind of going for. We just want to open packs, and obviously, just buying booster boxes is the best way to get packs and just to open packs of Pokemon cards. But if you want a bit of like intrigue and whimsy, and to you know, open some different packs, and you know, get like get some really cool things like this exclusive keychain, which I'm going to put on my, which I'm going to put on my keys like straight after this video. Like then, you know, you can't really go wrong with the um, with the new advent calendar. I really, really need to be careful when I'm opening these packs because I might damage more of the cards. So another sampling pack, this time Brilliant Stars. Gotta, gotta love the sampling packs. It's a shape, they kind of just use them as filler in this product. I would have been happy to like the RRP be another £10 and just to replace the sampling packs with, um, 
you know, replace the sampling packs with, um, you know, main booster packs, or just put some more random snowflake cards, just put some ice Pokemon in it, Alolan Vulpix, oh, I guess that's the Sun and Moon Pokemon, you know what I mean. Right, but we do have an Alolan Vulpix V-Star coming out soon, so there's two sampling packs back to back, but I think you still get, like, six, like, large main booster packs, like, in the... You know, in, in there as well, so, and I think each sampling pack is guaranteed a reverse hollow, so you might actually get some cool reverse hollows. Look at the, I always love the artwork on this wish cash, it's the Shindy, Shindy Kanja, this is the artist, Shindy, Shindy Kanda is the artist that does that new Giratina um, alt art from Lost Origins, so, um, really like this artist, I'm definitely going to be looking out for more of their cards in the future, and I don't know if I already showed you my Christmas jump because of the video crashing, but... It's Christmas, ad, you know, Advent Calendar, we got Bulbasaur, we got Charmander, we got Pikachu. We're celebrating Christmas with this wonderful Advent Calendar. Right. Number 16 is another card. Let's see if we can avoid this one getting damaged this time. Oop. Oh, it's a nice Lapras. Now, you don't really think of Lapras when you think of Christmas, but this is a beautiful card. This Sword and Shield base set Lapras, actually. Wow. Really nice sort of Cosmos. Like hollow foil stamp on this. So the good news about this um, this Christmas Advent Calendar set is that um, it's very mass available. We got a lot of these, and they, there should still be a decent amount around at Christmas. So obviously, if you want to secure it now, I, it's still a good thing to try and secure you know secure your Advent Calendar now if you're planning to open it at Christmas, or even just want to get the promos now and just open it all open it all at once like me and be a silly Billy just like just like me. You know that's also potentially a good thing you can do as well, but. Um, by the looks of things, it's not going to sell out really quickly, but, you know, come December the 1st, I can't guarantee that. We're, we're definitely not having any on stock on our website, because we've got London MCM and Birmingham MCM Comic Cons coming up in the next couple of months. To make sure, we should have some for those Comic Cons, to so make sure, you, you know, check us out there, but, um, come on, come on, there we go. But, um, yay, it's feel. Um, but you, I can never guarantee, can, can't guarantee that we'll still have some, you know, in stock, but... Um, definitely, if you're if you're a fan of what you see and you like what you've seen so far, definitely worth considering. What the earth is here? Is there a coin here? There is another coin, guys. I think it's a Delhi bird. Oh, it's a beautiful Delhi bird coin. So this one doesn't have that weird like texture that the um, like the weird sparkly thing that the ice cube has. But I really do like the um, just sort of like the plain red. And this is obviously the first time that I can remember that Delhi birds had like a coin, especially like it's first time it's had a jumbo coin in the modern era. So. That's a really cool coin. Right, number 19. I think we've got another card here, so I need to be extra careful. I don't want to I don't want to damage the cards like I've done with some of the others earlier. So I'm going to poke it from a from the bottom. See. Oh, it's another sampling pack. Okay, I think the cards are these these short slightly shorter ones, but not as like the longest ones are always going to be, you know, the booster packs. So yeah, please also leave a comment below. Let me know what you think to the holiday calendar. Um, did you? What do you think of of it in comparison to the one from two thousand and seven? You know, with with this with the snowflake cards and that had in that one, and you know, do you think they put too many um, sampling packs in here? Do you like the the selection of the packs? Um, please let me know what you think. Okay, what we do we have here? Another card, very carefully. Again, like interesting condition, but oh, it's an Obama Snow, the Christmas tree Pokemon. So again. All of these are hollows, so I don't even remember most of these cards being hollows in their original sets. So, again, just another... Be and then again, Chilling Rain. So if you're a Chilling Rain Master Set collector, there's like four or five cards in this product you need to complete your Master Set now that they've come out. So, And you can also just collect all of the snowflakes on their own. Like It might just be easy to pick those up eventually. Especially if you're not fussy about condition, because a lot of these packs have been coming out um, quite... Um, yeah, another sampling pack. I mean, it's still fun for kids to open. They do like the hollows, and they do like collecting cards in general. So I'd probably recommend this more for kids, potentially more than, like, serious collectors. But because the series, if you're a serious collector, you might want the snowflake cards in your collection. But you can just buy them as, like, single cards separately in the future. Um, but uh, I think just as a kid or as a, as a casual collector, this is a really cool product to open. And I'm actually having a ton of fun. To be extra careful to keep that one, that one safe. Uh, oh, I think we got some more stickers. I think we've got. I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see the see the last like two slits. You can see 24 and 25 here. I think we got some more stickers, guys. Oh, it's Delibird and Pikachu. Nice. 
and you got Ice Cube and Frost Moth. Happy holidays. That's really cool. I like that. More stickers are always a good thing. They could have just filled it full of stickers and I would have been happy, to be honest. Right, 24, Christmas Eve. You go, you walk down your house at Christmas Eve. You open up your advent calendar and it contains a... Ooh. Oh, wow. It contains a sealed pack with a PECGO code card. I don't know what the earth is in here. Why is there a code card? Oh, maybe the code card gives you all of the cards online with the snowflake stamp. That's really cool. I might, I'm going to scan this code card when I get back. Um, and uh, yeah, but there's the Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. So you got your Ice Rider V, and then you can evolve it into your Ice Rider Calyrex V Max once one turns. You know, once turn, once one turns be gone. It's got that busted Max Lance attack. Um, yeah, very cool, very cool. And the final door should be another booster pack. So what do we finish off with? Is it a strong pack to finish off with? Brilliant Stars. I will take that on Christmas Day. I will take a Brilliant Stars pack on Christmas Day. They could have finished with Evolving Skies, but Brilliant Stars. Are we going to finish Christmas Day with a special Art Charizard? Let's let's go. Um, please leave a comment below if you've loved the video, if you want to pick up one of these um, products. And yes, um, this might be edited quite weirdly because I think my computer is having issues with recording. So hopefully um, you've enjoyed it and, you know, it still turns out okay. So... Yes, and I'm being very hot with this jumper as well. I'm probably never get, ever going to wear a Christmas jumper whilst recording. Minchino, Boltoy, Snow Runt, Nose Pass, Grim Snarl, and a Clefable. But it's not about those guys. It's all about this amazing calendar and all of the exclusive promos that it contains. Like, oh my goodness! Just and then those coins and the I really love this keychain. And just the promos, the Pikachu, the Ice Riders, the beautiful Deli Bird. To be honest, I think this is an awesome calendar. I'm, uh, like, they, they've at least made some efforts. And um, I think this will be a popular product at Christmas. But I'd love to know what you guys think. You know, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think to the 2022 Holiday Advent Calendar. Remember to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the PlayStation Games Patreon. And I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.